I'm very, very pleased at this shows the strength that we have in a tough year. Mario, welcome. Thank you so much for your time. So today we have just announced fantastic results, our best, our highest profitability since 2007. What are the highlights? Um, it's interesting because all pieces of business have been contributing as it should be. Property and casualty, especially commercial, is still the main driver. Uh, but life had uh, the best year ever. Uh, farmers, again, a very strong year. Um, and uh, the customers' numbers are fantastic because uh, we still grew by over 2 million of customers in just uh, uh, the last year. Uh, so I'm very, very pleased. Uh, this shows the strength that we have in a tough year because 2022 was nothing, nothing was easy in this last year. Now, aside from these incredible numbers in this tough year, Looking beyond that, it's really a greater story here around the transformation of our business, our culture, our focus on our customers. How do you see this? Um, I think we're getting stronger and stronger. Um, and uh, the results really show this, that even in a very difficult year where everybody was speaking crisis, we make the best results ever. Um, the culture is changing. I mean, uh, and... Uh, more and more I see uh, people having positive culture, positive mindset, uh, let's get it done, let's do it, um, and uh, and also working together, uh, which is so important for me to create a team atmosphere and uh, really um, a, a, a situation where people can build a relationship with colleagues and help each other. Um, the customer shift has been absolutely marvelous over the last years. Um, you know, the retention, the loyalty has changed a lot for better. Mario, our strategy is strong, consistent, and it's clearly working well. We've had to pivot. We've become more agile when dealing with some of the challenges that are facing us. How do you see this going forward? Um, first of all, I'm impressed. I mean, I, I was remembering three years ago when we were these days in complete lockdown. Uh, and at the time, we had a financial plan for uh, these days, and we, didn't, we did not know anymore how to, to get to these results, because the original plan, of course, did not consider a pandemic and all the consequences of it. So we've been incredibly agile, because uh, we uh, came eventually to the uh, results we wanted with action totally different. Uh, and this, uh, in a lockdown, in a pandemic, with everybody constrained, still we did it. We refocused ourselves, so we changed the actions. Uh, now, we're a big company, uh, but we're in a world where, um, you know, the dynamism um, is very often with the, the innovative companies, so with the startups, um, and the world is, is running very fast. So agility is never, is never good enough. Um, so we're very agile. We need to become simpler and we need to become more agile in the future because this is what customers ask us for. And this is where the opportunity also lies to uh, beat some of the elephants in the industry by going much faster than them. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll move forward on that quickly. Simplification is important for me. Um, we've been running um, through um, waves of simplification, uh, but it's never enough. Um, and the more we can simplify and give freedom to do business uh, to the business units, to the people facing the customers, the better. So now moving on to sustainability, which is clearly an important topic for us and for everyone. We are consistently trying uh, and striving to walk the talk, do better. And a lot of this comes down to changing our behaviors. For example, reducing our air travel. Are we taking the right actions here? What else would you like to see? I think I think we're taking the right actions, uh, but the problem with sustainability is that uh, the more we do, the more we discover we need to do. Um, and so, yes, I mean we we have to change our um, habits, um, all of us, myself included, uh, and we need to figure out how to stay connected, how to maintain uh, personal relationships and trust um, uh, by meeting less and by using digital technology uh, much more. That's not always easy. Um, and uh, 
sometimes also there are things which uh, belongs to customers to partners where you have to adapt to what they want and they need uh, but if we want to really to save the planet and change uh, the future of the planet we need to continue evolve our actions and become more and more active in contributing um, ourselves uh, to to this better future for the planet thank you mario